Maybe he'll lay an egg. Cool. See you tomorrow. It really was the coolest coaster ever. You guys make a great team. Well, a brother is a brother, but I couldn't have asked for a better one than Ferb. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, man, I can smell the peanut butter. Well, that was impressive. Oh, they didn't mind. The building's scheduled for demolition. See? Ah! Uh, ma'am, you're gonna have to come back and pay for that. Yes, of course, officer. Hey, weren't you Lynn Donna? <laughs> yes, I was. I can't believe you recognized me. Well, I... Okay, boys, let's have a fair and square fight, and in no way should this ensuing fight contain the image of a potentially harmful, hurtful, or psychologically disturbing physical act that could be found imitatable by an impressionable child viewer. <sighs> boys and girls, let's get ready to thumb wrestle! Sorry, we're all out of flyers. Poster. No. Action figures. Sold out. Commemorative all coin. Gone. And my 10 glossy photo. Those look like hotcakes. <gasps> photo. Yes! Photographic evidence! Forever summer. <laughs> Never fall. Sometime spring. Forever summer. Woo! Forever summer. Awesome! Wow, that was really cool. Really? You're quite the swinter athlete. By the way, have you met Dee Dee? I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Derek Dickinson. Oh. But you can call me Dee Dee. Nice to meet you. Oh, <laughs> nice to meet you, Dee Dee. <laughs> Mom and Dad, back already? This is going to be the bestest day ever. You almost foiled my plan. Luckily, I had an extra can of sticky string to subdue, which was almost complete until you rudely interrupted me. Oh, look at this, Perry. It's my paintbrush. You know, the one you knocked out of my hand a few moments ago. Maybe you want to try to take it back from me now, huh? huh? You want to try? <laughs> Goodbye, Perry the Platypus. <laughs> You're a bit much, perhaps. Heinz, what is all this? I thought you were lactose intolerant. I am! Oh. I'm paying you way too much alimony. And what's over there? That is no way to treat your pet. But, Mom, that's a secret agent. A secret agent? He's just a little platypus. They don't do much, you know. Wow, guys. This is amazing. I was afraid you guys were going to go overboard and build... Because to Bigfoot, you're a fleshy tangerine. Ooh, no. He goes barefoot, so he's always free to stomp ya. He carries a big stick so he can womp ya. Sharpens up his teeth so he can chomp ya. So I think you better flee, because I'm telling you that he's Bigfoot. He's Bigfoot. He bathes in the water that you drink. Love the child who loves you most. All right, Mom. Almost there. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, you can look. Happy birthday! <gasps> what a beautiful breakfast. Mom? Made with love. And sweat. And by sweat, you mean heart. Uh, I tricked you, Barry the Platypus. Oh, do you like my any flat surface magnet belt? It sticks to any flat surface. <laughs> Guess what? There's no travel chest set in this bag either. There was one of these in both bags, so whichever one you chose, you would be stuck. Just like I'm stuck right now. You! You are dead to me! You are dead to me! <laughs> All right, team, that should do it. Pile in! Okay, let her rip! Hold it. I think I know what the problem is. It says tie machinery. That'd be righteous, dude. But good luck getting the other guys. Who can resist the power of rock and roll? Love handle reunion. Rock on, little dudes. The spirit of rock and roll has called out to me! I knew it. That'll be $1,800. Oh, thank goodness you're here. Love on the run at your service, my friend. So, what did you forget? She doesn't use it anymore. Well, that's just sad. Hey, what if we gave it a makeover? Sure. Something more, well, I don't know, Candace. Yes. Let's 
just be real pirates and go find Badbeard's treasure. <laughs> sure, knock yourselves out. I was just about your age when I first heard about Badbeard's treasure. I'd come up here every summer and search for it, but I felt drawn by the excitement and adventure. Of course, then I discovered girls and the rest is a blur. I never found the treasure, but I did find a treasure map. Treasure map? Hey, get back on your own yeah. channel. Everybody ready? Make sure your life vests are securely fastened. And in case we capsize, your seat cushions can function as a headstone. Oh, you don't want to get this wet. But, 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 but. Come on, Candace. That wasn't too bad, was it? Actually, that was kind of... My evil head. We're coming to the end of the race. The crowd is going nuts. Come on, Candace. Time for the whip. Okay, one, two, three. Don't touch it, Jeremy. It's Candace and Jeremy neck and neck as they come down the street. I don't think so. Could it really be possible? Could Phineas and Ferb actually be doing nothing? You're right, Mom. I should just try and relax until Stacy picks me up for the concert. Exactly. Love ya. Well, if they really are doing nothing, I guess I've got some time to go about my personal business. Let's see, what do I usually do? I know, I'll call Stacy and tell her how I'm busting Phineas and Ferb for... Oh yeah, can't do that because they're not doing anything. Wait a minute, I know. The Neanderthals were great makers of tools as well as skilled hunters. It's also believed that they had a highly advanced language. For example... <laughs> <laughs> is how they may have said, I love you, or please take out the trash. But one day, the fateful ice storms came. The Neanderthals blamed each other for being ill-equipped to... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Hey, uh -huh. Candace. You think you could spare a sandwich? Well, I'm sure I can spare one. I know how men are about their meat. Arg, me manly man! Me like meat! Gee, uh, thanks, sis. Cool outfit, by the way. You should meet our new friend. He's a real Neanderthal. I don't care how buff he is. Ugh. That smells like mustard. Huh? <gasps> <laughs> the big sandwich! Well, I guess we can't... They're not getting away with this. I know what I'm getting. I'm gonna get this disposable camera, and then I'll finally have proof, and I can bust them! Hey, you gotta pay for that! Right after I pay for this. Doofenshmirtz Stable Incorporated! Hello? Oh, Perry the Platypus, what do you want? <gasps> oh, a gift for me? Oh, how sweet of you! Oh, what's this note attached? Congratulations, Dr. Heinz Doofenshmirtz, on defecting to the good side. Print ads, photographs, basically it will erase any image in the entire tri-state area. And I will be able to attend my reunion without any embarrassment. Huh? What are you, oh! Hey guys, look, he missed me. It sure looks like it. Finally, I got those boys. Wait, where are you going? Oh, come on! Candace, honey, you're all wet. Good. Right there. Lumber over here, suckling pigs over there. Hold it. That pig's barely suckling. What do I look like? A fool? That's what I'm talking about. Carry on. So, you ready to chop some lumber, Ferb? Hey. Where's Perry? Well then, since you chaps are just about put together, I think it's time I pop next door to fetch my own armor. There's something almost disturbing about this. Hey, look, he's back. Okay, Charles, we'll help you get on your horse and do a practice run. You didn't think I'd recognize you, did you? But I do. 
Dr. Lloyd Wexler, my greatest hero in all of evil science. <laughs> I can't believe I've actually... Th it's a draw! <laughs> this just in, a giant mechanical Queen Elizabeth I and a dragon are rampaging through the country, engaged in an apparent duel to the death. And in other news, a new version of Jane Eyre is in the offing. Excellent trick, Agent P. Sorry to disturb you at this late hour, but we are about to give you the most important mission of your career. Our computer indicates that a city security camera located near your civilian... No way, Phineas. There's no way I'm letting this baby out of my sight. This is the single greatest moment in my life, and there is nothing you little creeps can do to take it away from me. Hello, children. I'll take that. My name is Norm. What? Go get him, Verb. Hey, kids, this is not a gymnasium. Boy, I'm sure. Jeremy asked me if I could meet him at the fair later today next to the Ferris wheel. Oh no! I almost forgot I'm scared of heights! What am I going to do? Candace, we're leaving now. Mom, I'm having a teenage crisis! Don't forget we're going bowling. We need you to keep an eye on the boys. Preferably two. Bowling? That sounds fun. Hey, Dad, is it all right if we... Wow, that is one big bowling ball. Hey, look at that, Ferb. Told you we could do it in our sleep. So, what do you think I should wear to the fair tonight? I'm thinking my favorite red blouse with my white skirt and red matching socks. Stacy, I'm gonna have to call you back. Of us, right on time. It seems like you've got quite a chill there. I want you to meet my latest creation. The giant robotic penguin icy freeze your socks off breath. Here she comes. Go, Candace. Candace. And there she goes. All right, guys, to 7th Street. Wait, we've got two more world's most pointless records of our own. Well then, step right up, Sonny, and tell everybody what they are. Our first entry is for the world's largest bowling ball, and the other is for the world's largest game of pinball. Wow! Well, let's see them! Wait for it. Or perhaps some logic-defying amalgam of man and penguin. A manguin, if you will. <laughs> I used to have goals. They were evil goals, but they were goals. There you are, Agent P. Sorry about the stairs, our elevator maintenance guy is on a corporate retreat. Give me enough, give me enough of games. Are you a contender? Give me enough, give me enough of games. In the battle of the genders. Na 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 na, na 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 na, na 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 and now for the tiebreaker event, Giant Foosball. Get ready to fooze. This is so my game. But didn't Isabella beat you at this earlier? Quiet, you. Ready, Candace? I feel like a kebab. I too feel a certain element of kebabism. I said quiet, you. Let's play. Wow, Candace, your hair looks great. <laughs> really? Buford, that 
That was a great game. Come on, be a good sport. Like I said before, losing to a girl doesn't count. Uh, welcome to our telethon. If you're just joining us, your dollars are helping us to find a cure for um, anti-disestablishmentarianism. Goodness me, that sounds dreadful. Oh, it is. It um, makes you look pale and weak like uh, this young lad. Oh dear, the poor thing. Look at that. Wait a minute, anti dis <laughs> Cool. Hey, Ferb, new hairdo. Check it out. Hey, Phineas, what you doing? Ferb and I are building a giant observatory to watch Chameleon's Comet tonight. Ooh, that sounds like fun. We're going to put on a laser light show. And as a grand finale, we're going to laser our faces into the... Charles and my dad! S to the I to the M to the P, then maybe you can be moving like me. Step right over and watch me put it down. Who you got back home water in your pants? S-I-M-P, squirrels in my pants. How can I qualify for government grants? S-I-M-P, squirrels in my pants. Ska, for short, or maybe it should be school. I'm a little on the fence about... Wait a minute, what are you doing? Oh, that? That's just a giant heat ray in case I want to do something evil later. Why don't you stay here with Susie and I'll go buy some ice cream? No, no, no. You stay here, I'll... Step this way, please. Single file line. The laser show will begin momentarily. Please, no flash photography or cell phones. Thank you. All right, Ferb, that's everyone. Kill the lights. Space, it's really big. It's filled with planets of all shapes and sizes and millions of shiny stars. Space has also got huge comets soaring through it, including one named after the ancient Danville astronomer, Kermillion. Please don't panic. We're experiencing technical difficulties. Calmly head towards the exit in a calm, orderly... Okay, now I can panic. Herb, what's happening? That was so cool! Candace, are you okay? You mean you came over to check on me? Of course. Oh, there you are, Perry. So, that's Chameleon's Comet. Did you make a wish? Yes. And did it come true? It just did. Your mom says they're off playing miniature golf. Uh, how lame is that? Hey, guys. What gives? Little Duffers has closed its doors forever. And I was all set to destroy you on the mini links. And I was gonna bury you on the fairway. Metaphorically, right? Oh, yeah, right. But how can they close little duffers? I've been coming here since I... Awesome plan. We should be finished before lunch. Listen up, twerps. Just because Candace is sick doesn't mean you can get away with anything. I am now her eyes, ears, and mouth. Basically, I'm her whole face. What a good friend. Yeah, right? She wrote you this message. Hmm, weasels. I think she means it. I knew there were weasels. So anyway, what's all this? We're only making the greatest miniature golf course in the whole world. Duper's house in the suburbs. Okay, focus, focus, focus. You can do this, Daisy. Don't get seduced by the coolness. Whoa, uh elevated to the coolness. This is so cool. Okay, Ferb, you're up. Translated into Evil, Chapter 1, Tom Sawyer's dislike of Aunt Polly was rivaled only by his hatred of puppies. <laughs> Perry the Platypus, you scared the dunkle stump out of me! Don't you know it's rude to bust in on someone's new home unannounced when a housewarming gift? Oh, how thoughtful! How thoughtful, thank you. Look! <laughs> What was I thinking? Okay, Candace. Looks like it's up to you. Ah, 
This is nice, eh? Huh? But you know what? I, I don't think... At least the golf course can't finish if they're still in it. Come on, Mom. I can teleport myself anywhere in the world! Wouldn't you have to take one of those teleport things there first? Oh, but then you'd already be there. It kind of renders the whole thing redundant, doesn't it? Do you want me to remove your tongue again, Torbo? Cool. I know what we can do today, Ferb. <laughs> no, not the tongue thing, the teleporter. Hey, Bowen. What do you mean, again? Remember my fifth grade graduation with the inflatable? Oh, that's right. My bad. This is a glorious day for mankind. Ready with the camera so we can document it? Gee. How many times have I told you to keep Perry out of my room? What are those? Teleports. Pretty cool, huh? Uh-oh, Carl, I think we have a breach of security. What do you mean, sir? There's a teenage girl in here. A teenage girl? Agent P, brilliant disguise. Man, I thought it was a real girl. No, for Why did you use that picture? I don't want anyone to see me like that. That's the only picture we had. Good job, Isabella. Glad I could help. <gasps> now everyone will see that horrible picture. Okay, Candace, just stay here while we post these around town. We'll find Perry in no time. Doofenshmirtz Sable Incorporated. Did. What did they do this time? All you have to do is look at me. If that's Jeremy, tell him I'm getting ready. I don't want him to see me like this. Okay, Candace. Now, what's so important? Hi, Jeremy. Hey, Mrs. Flynn. Is Candace here? Oh, she's still getting ready. You know girls. Have a seat. As soon as I get this done, lunchtime will never again be fun. Oh, great. There's a rhyme. There's a rhyme. But sure, everything rhymes with fun. <laughs> You don't have a tail anymore! Now you're no match for me! But wait a minute, I, I, I can't take a girl! Oof, did you have that purse when you came in? Great! Take me back now! So this is how you went through the first time, right? You were holding Perry? Yes, 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 hurry! Oh, he's a lot heavier now! I wonder if it worked. You guys are so busted. I'm telling Mom. You might consider bathing first. She's around, you can hear the bad guys say. Oh, great, now I have this song stuck in my head. She's Perry, Perry the Teenage Girl. That, ladies and gents, is how I defeated the wild tigers in the Amazon. Awesome story, Grandpa Reg. Well, I'm sure you're going to hear plenty more fantastical stories. Well, it wasn't exactly a toe tapper. Then all of a sudden it started to rain. I'd have to postpone my great feat. A second go at it weeks later. Had the same result. And yet another attempt. Nothing but blasted rain again. Let's go. Yeah, I've got teeth not to brush. Over the years, my eyes. Huh? Oh, hey, Agent P. Monogram's thrown his back out. I'm on the floor, Agent P. So I'll be giving you your assignment, okay? Okay. Do a close up. Huh? Oh, yeah. Huh. <clears throat> Doofenshmirtz has been purchasing some suspicious items bags of sand, an extra long shoelace. We know he's up to no good. Get out there and see what he's up to. Oh, just come in. Into my truck. Yes, sticky flypaper, Perry the Platypus. <laughs> Quick story. Back in Drusselstein in the days of my youth, there was a bully named Boris who always wore big black boots. They called him Big Black Boots Boris the Bully. He was... Come see the flying fishmonger jump the gorge live. <gasps> That's our yard. Mom, Mom, come here. I need you to see this. Sponsored by gorgeous cream pour paste. Oh, honey, your pores aren't that big. And now, what you've all come to see, the Flying Fishmongers. And here to play the Fishmongers anthem are Isabel. 
Maybe we should have let it rain. Don't worry, Grandpa. We've got a backup plan. Verb. Good show. Extra, extra for you. Now that can't be good. Spot of tea for helping this old codger fulfill his dream. Ah, you guys are so busted. Look at this. It's even better than I thought. There's no way you're going to get out of this one. Oh, Mom! Mom! Come on out, Penny the Platypus, no grabbies! Ha! No stopping it now! Well, these two Royster Doisters wheeled out me old iron, built a cracking match for McGregor's Gorge, and helped this daft old git have one last knees up. I have absolutely no idea. Holy, holy mackerel, holy, holy mackerel, holy, holy mackerel. He's bald on top, he's got an artificial hip. He's gonna take a hop, he's gonna take a trip. He's weak in the knees and he can't find his key. Hey, Jeremy, this is Candace Flynn. So what do you get when you cross a yak in a Martian? Honey, could I interrupt for just a sec? Why, Jeremy Johnson, did you just call me honey? No, Candace. I just wanted to tell you I'm off to my book club. I left a phone number on the fridge in case of emergency. And Candace, honey. Yes, Mom? I hope you're not planning on talking to that banana all afternoon. Ladies and platypuses, introducing the latest party craze to sweep the nation. The amazing mariachi tree! Oops. <laughs> hey, where's Perry? Good morning, Agent P. Dr. Doofenshmirtz is on the move. We tracked him to these coordinates when we suddenly lost his signal. We have... Blackfoot will never flinch from a fray. He's got more than just mad skill. He's got a beaver tail and a bill. And the women swoon, whatever they hear him say. He's Perry! Perry the Platypus! But you can call him Agent... I'm not using the banana this time. You guys heard that, right? It wasn't just me. Build a haunted house, my foot. They're so busted. Yes, hello. This is an emergency. I'd like to speak with Linda Flynn. To whom am I presently speaking? Uh, Jeremy. That's whom. J -j Jeremy? J -j 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 Time to have guessed that you'd track me to this point, find a secret hideout, glide in under the radar, and infiltrate through this access vent. Make your way over to this crate, activating my automatic arm and leg restraints. Oh, right here? This is the part where I get all sarcastic and pretend you surprised me. Oh, bury the platypus! How? What? Set fire to the sun! And I was like, dude, you really gotta let that one go. It's it's a ball of fire. It makes no sense. So he asked me instead to simply destroy his hideout, which I will now do using my new disintevaporator. Ahem. And you, Perry the Platypus, will now be disintegrated.